All right, good evening, ladies and gents. Welcome back to Compound Interesting. In today's video, we're going to be going through all the updates and the announcements in the Yuga Labs, Board Ape, other side ecosystem. And there's been a number of really exciting and interesting announcements and trailers. So we're going to go through all of them, what this could possibly mean, the free mint that's going to be coming up for, for Ape holders and all the news about the other side because there's a, a substantial bit of news about the other side and yeah so yuga labs kind of they went completely radio silent for about five or six months people started getting a bit impatient a bit annoyed that there was no updates there was no communication from the team so they promised they would start communicating more and let us know what what they're doing what what we can expect what's coming up next and that's exactly what they've done uh, in the last week or so they've just been announcement after announcement from board ape in the board ape ecosystem in the other side ecosystem and just as a side tangent another way that they've really upped their communication to really bring the community in to what they're thinking and let us know like it's all still complete well not complete but like it's all still quite mysterious and we don't really know what's coming on what's co going on and you kind of have to guess and there's a few little hints and clues of what's coming up and how you can you know better position yourself to get more desirable assets is probably what we're all kind of after we all want the most desirable assets in the yuga labs ecosystem so the first trailer i want to talk about is this particular trailer that i'm playing right now uh, so it shows jimmy the monkey a coda and i think they're called a mega mecha bot or something like that they're chilling running around in this little area and it turns out that this area is this particular land plot number this land plot number 9353 and that'll be important in a minute but yeah so they're actually walking through this land plot and this is in game footage so this was the thing i was most excited about this is what it's actually going to be like walking around the other side and doing playing games doing whatever you want to do in the other side this is how big a plot is and this is how detailed and cool it looks i think this looks amazing and this is apparently what the in-game in-game footage is going to be like and I know that a lot of games always say that and sometimes it's not as good as they say but if it's anywhere near this it's pretty impressive in my opinion and yeah so there's a, a little teaser at the end they're like oh what is this sound so they're, they're kind of hinting that there's other beings or there's more characters of the other side yet to be announced and that will come later on in Q1 or Q2 of next year uh, we'll get onto that in a, in a few minutes Okay, so the next trailer we're going to look at is actually a different projects trailer and this trailer is from 10KTF. If you haven't heard of 10KTF, I did a really br big breakdown of 10KTF, one of my favorite NFT projects, but uh, they're extremely uh, storytelling NFT project and they're created by Beeple. And if you know who Beeple is, like he's he's the best-selling NFT artist of all time, one of the best-selling artists of all time. He created 10KTF and 10KTF had all this crazy storyline this amazing st storytelling and this amazing art obviously because it's done by people and Gaio Siri is the other founder and they were acquired by Yuga Labs and now are being in in integrated in the other side and here's a little trailer from the same land piece so this is pretty cool and at the end of 10 KTF story uh, as far as we got so far Wag Mi San went missing the main character this old man here and he's reappeared now in the other side so this is pretty cool it means they're going to be integrating the whole 10ktf art and storytelling into the other side because uh, yeah 10ktf were a really strong team and they acquired them and integrating integrating them into the yuga labs board ape ecosystem pretty cool in my opinion okay so the next big piece of information and news about the other side that they release in articles about the avatars that you're going to be able to use and bring into the other side and they confirm that you're going to be able to bring you know your own nft projects into the other side and run around playing as your cool cat or as your crypto or any any nft project that is partnering with yuga labs and a lot of them are going to integrate with other side there would be no point in not doing that but they confirmed that there's a lot of nft projects that they're already working with to make that happen so you'll be able to bring your own nft and run around as your nft but if you don't have an nft or you don't care about nfts that much you're going to be able to create your own avatars and this is completely new information as far as i'm aware so this is like look at how cool this little character is and he like the sickest cunt ever <laughs> but no in all seriousness it's they're just showing you what like what other kind of game developer does that like shows you exactly the what they're doing in real time like this little fucker running around like this little tin man guy <laughs> most game companies wouldn't show you the building blocks of what they're actually doing but 
this is what it's going to look like for developers who actually want to develop. So that's what the other side is. It's a, a platform where creators, content creators, game developers can create content and develop games. So there's going to be games within the other side. That's kind of their vision. So you're going to be able to create your own characters and you can either use like, so if you're actually a proper good developer, you can create your own completely custom avatar, but you can also, Yuga Labs is going to allow you to create like, you know, a templated version of like different, different templates that you'll be able to choose from to create your own avatar or character in the other side. So they're just showing how that's going to happen. And not only will you be able to create your own characters, it, show, it says you'll be able to create your own games and potentially build objects. I'm not sure if you're going to have to use resources from the game or if these are games within the other side game. But here it just kind of shows video of like uh, someone creating kind of like Fortnite style, creating these little buildings that you can run up and do stuff with. So that's kind of saying like, oh, you can create your own games on here and potentially monetize your game within other side. So other side, it's a platform where a lot of freedom will be able to happen. Yeah, so much info recently and yeah, not much people talking about it. But another thing they said, it's up to a thousand people can fit on an other deed plot, which is, I know they already kind of show that, but if you're creating a game, you can have like a 1000 person game on the other side in one other deed plot, which is pretty cool. And the other thing they mentioned in this article is that you'll be able to personalize your other deed. So if you want an other deed that's like, you know the way they're just static you can't change them but in the future you'll be able to be like okay this is this other dude has this game on it and you'll be able to change the name and change the features or something like that or this is a bar or this is a restaurant or something like that that's how i think what they mean by it. you can per personalize your other dude they also dropped when the next trip is going to be the next trip is going to be in late march of 2023 they said there'll be new environments new characters new mechanics and an even higher concurrency of users. So basically, there'll be more people and more compu computations going on. So more people running around, more people being able to talk to each other, more things be being able to be going on at the same time. That's essentially what that means. And they said in the second trip, you might be able to use your own NFT in that trip. Uh, they're gonna try and work that in and you'll also be able to fly, <laughs> which is kind of cool. So that's when the next trip is gonna be March of 2023. Uh, and if you look on the other side, website so you just go to the obelisk on the other side dot xyz and you can see all the plans that they have so first trip they've already done it so next up is the codex and so I, i'm guessing that's the second trip the codex and then after that we have the coda origin slash the decoupling so that's where you're going to be able to decouple your coda or your artifacts from your other deed so that's why i kind of said okay artifacts are probably a good buy because you're going to be able to separate them from the other deed so they might fetch a premium coming up to that just a little bit of alpha potentially <laughs> so I, I bought a couple of artifacts for that particular reason again in this article they mentioned that we're going to be introduced to the other inhabitants of the other side so we'll have to see who that is but it could be some sort of evil codas or they keep hinting at like a kind of a parallel universe where the other side is flipped from one way to the other is kind of some sort of duality between we've only seen one side of the other side or one side of the codas or one side of so there's another side and it just seems that there's another side because they always said there's going to be another 100k land plots and maybe that's evil codas on the other side who knows all right so that's all about the other side for the moment but the other huge news in the board ape ecosystem is that they're finally going to be doing the trial of jimmy the monkey and also there's going to be a free mint coming up so the free mint is going to be an interactive playable mint probably yeah definitely almost definitely in the other side so you're gonna to have to do something in the other side and it's going to be an interactive mint and it's going to be free and it's going to be in late january and you can enhance your mint they say enhancing your mint experience for ape holders um, by spending a bit of ape coin so i'm not really sure what that means does it actually increase the value of whatever we're minting or is it just more fun to spend a bit of ape coin does that do something cool i'm not sure but they keep reiterating like pay attention to all the signs look for clues and stuff so it's maybe some sort of treasure hunt some sort of there's some sort of alpha you need to kind of keep your eyes open for and there's a lot of hints in the uh, the trailer of jimmy the monkey that we will go through a couple of them but i don't want to get too into the weeds because some of it is a bit i don't know maybe stretching <laughs> and the other thing just to note is that it's a tiered system and if you hold a doggo uh, if you hold a board ape kennel dog 
paired with one of your apes, it's uh, it's going to be better. And I don't have a doggo, so if anyone happens to have a doggo and wants to pair up with me, let me know. So the trial of Jimmy the monkey, that's been on the roadmap since the beginning and it just never happened and I guess they were just like so busy with the other side and all the different things that was going on in the board ape ecosystem that they I've only gotten around to it now uh, but yeah we know that we know that Gargamel and Gordon Gunner like they're crazy into literature and stuff so they're just like super creative guys so the lore in the board ape ecosystem and the storytelling has always been like top tier just so cool and so interesting so we know this is going to be pretty fun fun and exciting and yeah you can see from this trailer that it's a bit silly it's a bit fun it's a bit less serious than the other side maybe yeah that's kind of the whole culture of the board ape ecosystem they don't take themselves too serious they just party in their yacht club in the swamp uh, they're a bit gross they're going diving through sewers and swallowing keys and having a great time but uh, but yeah so we can see from this trailer like what this kind of shows is what we think is jimmy the monkey even though it looks a little bit different to the Jimmy the Monkey on the roadmap, but it's most likely Jimmy the Monkey because in this in the film he has a tail and monkeys have tails and apes don't have tails. Uh, that's something that I learned today. But um, then we can also see on the box. So this is a, a still the box that they're trying around in the trailer, and we can see in one side of the box they have apes farting, so no tails, and then the other side of the box they have monkeys farting so and then the other side of the box they have um, some sort of battle going on so maybe there's speculation that there's some sort of monkey versus ape battle um, is that what MD versus MMI means on the roadmap or does that mean mecha dogs versus something else and the other important thing that I should mention is that the box isn't the interesting thing like they put up this announcement about this box but it's actually the key which is the important thing the key is the key you can even see on the other side's Twitter bio that their location, if you see in the bottom left there, their location is the key. Yeah, and yeah, they finish out the trailer with a, a key coming out of a butthole. And uh, Emperor Termano Ketchup also posted something similar to that. So I'll probably do an update when I get more alpha, more information of what all of this means. So let me know if you want to see that. So what do I think about all these updates? Uh, I think it's really exciting. I think. The Yuga Labs team is killing it. They're going at such a crazy pace. The other side is being developed so well and so fast. So I'm really happy I've made considerable investments into the other side. Just like not considerable to some people, but considerable to me. Uh, so yeah, I'm very happy to see what's going on. And yeah, they've been hiring like crazy. They just got a new CEO replacing Nicole Munez. Nicole Munez did an amazing job, but she was just kind of a friend of the two guys and asked to come on and be a CEO and now it's a multi-billion dollar com uh, company essentially so they brought in the COO of Activision Blizzard and he's also been uh, executive officer in other massive gaming organizations so Activision is the guys who created World of Warcraft and Call of Duty etc so yeah they're bringing in major top tier executives in the gaming space so that was great to see and like just <laughs> just some bullish narratives potentially like I know we're going into a recession Tesla stock's going to hell. Crypto's not doing great, but in a recession, sometimes luxury items could do well and apes could be considered a luxury item. And if apes do well, the other side does well. Just as a side tangent, they started a podcast. The two founders, Crypto Garga and uh, Gordon Goner, or Gordon Goner. Uh, their real names, it doesn't matter, whatever. <laughs> but yeah, they started a really interesting podcast. If you're interested in, if you're like a nerd like me and you're interested in the metaverse and that kind of thing, uh, and that's called the fucking metaverse, and I'll link it in the description. But that's all the main news about the other side and the board ape ecosystem. I will keep you updated on everything that's going on. If you did like the video, please smash the thumbs up button. Subscribe if you're new. Hit that notification bell because I'm a really small channel. If you want to see my videos, hit that notification bell. Thank you so, so much for watching. Really hope you enjoyed. I'll see you in the next one.